Right now, I'm going to demo this, our new item. This is our HDMI plus IR plus RS-232 UTP extender over 100 meters or 330 feet. The part number for this is R014 EXT VAIR. Now this unit comes with a set of a transmitter and receiver. And you'll also, if you notice, you'll see this item also supports IR in and out and R232. So it, for that, it also comes with two sets of, two sets of IR sensors, one for out, one for in, for both sides. Additionally, it also comes with two sets of wires. These are for the RS-232 port. Now, in our, in our, in, for this demo, we will not be using this because it, the RS-232 is mostly used for, as a control function, like for a touch screen. The equipment we'll be using is um, a Sony Blu-ray player, a Samsung HD TV monitor, and a solid Cat Category 6 cable, 330 feet. So first things for, what you want to do is plug the, the HDMI cable into the input of the transmitter. Then the power cord, and then the 300 foot, 330 feet cable to the output. Now, for the other end, for the receiver side, you will plug in. We'll first plug in the cable, the 330 foot, the category 6 cable, then the power, then the power, and then the HDMI cable going to the TV. So at the end it will look like this. Now, as you can see right now, after everything is set up, we are able to get the video at 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz, which is basically 1080, 60p, and we are running at 12-bit deep color. To use the IR function, you'll be using the cable I, talk, I told you about. Now, it comes with, there's two cables for each side. There's a, there's one for IR in, and the other one, and this is for IR out. So plug it, plug the in to in, and the IR out to out, like so. Now this is where the you would be the, the receiver, the receiver end. This is where the remote control will be going. You'll be using the remote control functions. And on the transmitter side, that's the same thing. So, IR in, and IR out. Now, for the transmitter side, the two IR sensors, you would be wanting Put close to the IR sensor on the TV, so I'll be putting it right here because the sensor's right here on the TV. On the TV. And like I said, right now you see it working right here. If I just go straight to the TV, it works. But if I put like a remote control back here, no signal at all. So this is where the IR function can be shown. So I push in. I got the IR sensors from the receiver. So I put it back here. And you notice, it actually does work. You see it? Before, without the IR sensor, without the IR sensor, you see no, it doesn't work. I'm trying to mute it. I'm trying to mute right now. It doesn't mute. 
the iron sensor back here, and you'll see it. It works. Without, with, without, with. And that that's the IR that's what the IR sensor is for. So you have to go through a different walls or anything like that, different rooms. The IR, so you don't have to be in the same room to control the TV function. Or if it's too far away, you don't have to be in the same room to control the TV function.